let us solve one more problem. Evaluate integral 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. So, this problem also can be done using the property integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, let us solve this problem using the property. So, now let us say i equals to integral 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx using integral 0 to a f of x dx integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, now this can be rewritten as i equals to integral 0 to pi x replaced by pi minus x. Here a minus x means, so re regarding to the problem pi minus x that is 180 minus x sin of pi minus x by 1 plus cos pi minus x square dx. See here sin pi minus x is sin x, but whereas cos pi minus x is minus cos x. So, now So, this can be written integral 0 to pi this is pi minus x multiplied by sin x by 1 plus it is very interesting thing though cos of pi minus x is minus cos x we have square minus cos x square is plus cos square x we get it. So, plus cos square x dx. Now, this can be written integral 0 to pi, pi common. So, 1 by sorry sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx and minus integral 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. So, now just observe once again the same problem will appear here that is nothing but i. So, i equals to pi times integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx minus i. So, transposing minus i to the left hand side we get a 2 i equals to pi times integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. Now, so i becomes pi by 2 integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. Let us see how to solve this integral sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx first. So, let us concentrate on indefinite integration. So, just check the sin x is the part of the derivative of cos x. So, what is the derivative of cos x minus sin x? So, that means here we have to substitute the cos x is equal to some variable say t. So, let us say t is equal to cos x. So, dt by dx is equal to minus sin x. So, dt becomes minus sin x dx. So, now whenever substitution 
actually takes place the limits also changes in accordance with the variable here so here lower limit x equals to 0 we have here t equals to cos 0 that is 1 okay now upper limit x is equal to pi t equals to cos pi cos 1 it is very interesting that is minus 1 so now this problem can be changed like this now i equals to pi by 2 times equivalent value that is lower limit is 1 now upper limit is minus 1 here this sin x dx is minus dt minus dt we can write it because dt is minus sin x dx here sin x dx is equal to minus dt so we can write this one minus 1 by 1 plus t square dt take minus common so we have minus pi by 2 integral 1 to minus 1 1 by 1 plus t square dt it is a formula integral 1 by 1 plus x square dx is tan inverse x so this is tan inverse t so minus pi by 2 this is tan inverse t limits from here 1 to minus 1 so now we can solve like this So now this is equal to minus pi by 2 times this is tan inverse of minus 1 minus tan inverse 1 substituting the respective lower limit and upper limits. So we have from inverse trigonometric functions this is minus pi by 4 this is minus pi by 4 45 plus 45 pi by 2 that becomes so minus pi by 2 times minus pi by 2 this is pi square by 4 so therefore i equals to pi square by 4 hence it has been solved